Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. My book, Adhesion Science, Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Adhesion website. In this video, we look at the apps which show why surface energy and chemical bonds are of no great significance, in their basic form, for strong adhesion. Some of you will have seen videos of climbers going up a glass wall using pads, say, 10 by 10 centimeters on their hands. The adhesion they have is pure surface energy adhesion, pure gecko type adhesion. It looks very strong, but I'm saying that surface energy is too weak. And the reason that such adhesion is actually quite useless is shown in this video. My neighbors, Tony and Anna Chester, helped me prepare it. We have these two pieces of rubber held together by pure surface energy forces. And when we pull them, we're not acting, we're pulling as hard as we can, can't pull it apart. And yet when Anna comes along, very easily she can pull it apart. So these surface energy forces are fine when it's a pure vertical pull, but actually useless when you have any form of crack. And you cannot rely on pure pull adhesion. In most cases, the adhesion you want has to be resistant to some sort of cracking. And surface energy has almost no resistance. It has 0.05 newtons per meter resistance to cracking. But then people say, ah, but if I roughen the surface, things will be much better. This again happens to be wrong. Here's a rough surface, and it looks as though the extra surface area must be very large. In fact, the surface area is only 5%. I know that because I synthesized this on a computer myself. If you could double the surface area by roughness, you would go from, say, 0.04 newtons per meter to 0.08 newtons per meter, which is still a factor of 1,000 too small to be useful. But this is only 5% extra surface area, and therefore only a 5% increase from 0.04 newtons per meter, i.e. completely worthless. Why is this very rough surface actually only 5%? The answer is that it's a deception. When we plot it to scale, then we see how rough it actually is. It's not rough at all. This is plotted with millimeters in this direction and microns in that direction. This one is plotted truly to scale, millimeters in that direction and thousands of microns, i.e. millimeters, in this direction. And then it's flat. So surface energy, even when enhanced by a rough surface, is useless for what we want. How about chemical bonds? Well, it's not chemical bonds. There's a wonderful quote by Gordon in his book, Structures or Why Things Don't Fall Down. It turns out that the total energy needed to break all the bonds to any one plane or cross section in most technologically relevant materials is very much the same and does not differ widely from one joule per meter squared. And as a specific example, if you break some glass, it only takes one joule per meter squared to break all those very strong silica bonds. A quick calculation shows that Gordon is correct. Let's say we have four bonds every 10 nanometers squared. And each bond is a chemical bond with something like 350 kilojoules per mole. When you do the sums, taking into account Avogadro's number and things like that, that gives a work adhesion of 0.24 joules per meter squared, i.e. 0.24 newtons per meter. It is insignificant in the great scheme of things. So surface energy and chemical bonds are useless for strong adhesion. Though we'll refine this idea about chemical bonds being useless later.